Hello my dear viewers, this is Ace Manos and known as Mutant Jeans. In my last video, how to make a Minecraft server using Hamachi, I was told that it wasn't detailed enough. Now, normally I'd be calling the guy's family uh, a lot of different things. <laughs> I won't do that. Instead, I'll um, make this a more detailed version. Um, what you have to do first is of course go into any browser Google, preferably. Uh, just go into Google um, on it and search Hamachi. Uh, this is pretty easy. You go into hamachi.n.softonic.com where you can find the program. I am running no script, so might not be showing up as it should be, but it's the right uh, website anyway. You press uh, the free download button and um, it will start downloading. Um, it's about 100 uh, megabytes, so when you're done downloading it, it takes a few minutes or so. Um, you have to go into a Minecraft website, minecraft.net. Um, you log in. I'm not gonna be doing that right now. <laughs> and you download the multiplayer beta so server software. Uh, this. No, not the exit, by the way. That's for an old. Download the server jar. Um, I have already downloaded that. So that's no problem. I'll close this browser. Go and make a... Um, make a new... Uh, not sure what that's called. Make any of those. <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> um, and go into it. I'm from Denmark, by the way. And go into it. Uh, in here, all this will not be there. You will only have um, the Minecraft uh, jar file. What you do is you open the file. Uh, you have to have Java, uh, Java to do that. Um, it will boot up. Looking a little bit like this. Preparing and all that crap. And... Um, when it's done doing this, when it's on 100%, you can uh, close the server program down. I'm not talking about Hamachi, by the way. Close it down, and then um, all these things will be there. You'll have a world, you'll have a band the IPS, uh, band players, ops server, uh, server again, and a whitelist. Now, there's a server text document, and there's a server properties file. You won't really need that. You're not gonna... Don't, um... Don't, uh delete any of these things. You'll, you'll need everything, just you won't really have to do anything um, to it. You go to this properties file um, and you open it with notepad. Uh, when that's done you'll see all this. When you see this, this will not be there. The server IP... Nope. I can't. <laughs> the server IP won't be there. Um, and uh, you'll think what I'll do now? What will I do now? What you have to do is go into Hamachi, uh, open it, uh, this will take a while, usually. Two buttons will appear, one with mine, mine is not new, but then um, I'm just gonna go offline again because you're not gonna join my server. Uh, I need to use another IP than this. Um, uh, so don't even try. Um, you have to. Uh, uh, two buttons will appear. Uh, one where you can choose to uh, make your new, make uh, your own network, or to join an existing. If, if you choose uh, to make your own network. Ooh. Oh God! Then I have to. Oh well. If you choose to make your own network, you'll. Um, get like a box. A box will appear. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. If it's... Yawn. There we go. Just gonna close these. <laughs> um, this will appear. The network ID and the password. Network ID... Um, just type something in. The name of your Hamachi server. And password, um, 
you just one two three or something like that. Uh, and then you just press uh, create or make uh, I don't know. Um, then it will appear here like these two. Uh, when that's done, um, people will have to join your Hamachi server to actually um, to actually be able to get into a Minecraft game, which means they have to have Hamachi as well. Um, but f that's we'll take that in a second. First, you have to um, take your IP. Mine's this. Take your IP. You get an IP uh, delivered. This just this. Um, if it's your own server, if it's another server, you need another IP. Um, and then put it in here, the server IP. For God's sake, don't remove this. This is important. Just put it here. Um, you'll not be be able to join your own server, but um, you have to actually have the uh, server open. The server file has to be open at all times, otherwise you won't be able to join it. Um, you'll be able to see who joins the server here. There'll be a list of players, and um, well, that'll be it. Um, you will get this message. Stop that. Thank you. You will get this message. Not enough RAM. Um, there's ways to do that. Make a new notepad file, put this in, and make it a batch file. I won't be showing you that now because it's not that important, but it's a good idea to have anyway. Um, now, your server is created. If anyone wants to join your server, it looks like. Uh, it looks like. like this. Um, they have to press the button connect to a new. Uh, connect to an existing network. And um, put in the name of your uh, uh, Hamachi server. Um, if your Hamachi server was called my server, they just have to put that in and then the password. Then they'll be able to join. Um, an important thing is when you make a new Hamachi server, there'll be like, um, um, it'll come like if you want it to be. Um, because it it'll make a new web network actually. And they'll come. It, it'll ask if you want to make it a home network or a um, you know you know what I mean. If you don't, please ask uh, in the comments below. Um, you have to make it a home network. Otherwise, it won't work. Um, people won't be able to join either your server or your um, your Hamachi server or your Minecraft server, and that's. That sucks. Anyway, when this is done, you're pretty much ready to go. People will have joined your server. Um, and, um, and well, you'll just have to open Minecraft server. But you can go into the properties file and, like, uh, make monster spawn just uh, write uh, true or false. That way, people will be able to um, to join. Uh, the server port is an important thing, and you are not going to don't uh, edit that. That's important. Uh, anyway, you close this notepad. Um, you open the Minecraft server. You can close all this now. Now you'll have to go into Minecraft. Um, go into multiplayer. Um, write your IP. Um, and after the IP, you have to write uh, the port like this. Um, also, an important thing: if you do not do this. People can't join you. Um. Now, uh, when we're done here, you can close this down. This is not needed anymore. And um, 
well it is needed you have to have it running every time someone wants to join you <laughs> your um your server but otherwise it's not needed and um well you're pretty much ready to go i hope this was at least a little bit more detailed um if you still have questions just ask them um i'll answer all questions i get i promise anyway goodbye for now uh and uh, see ya